One of my brothers went for one year, Brother Dennis went for one year to Assumption, he was a boarder, um, probably because of his three bazillion uncles. And uh, he struck up a friendship with another boarder who was from um, uh, Mexico, Rafael. Rafael was a very good, as I remember, very good artist. He drew uh, pictures of all sorts of people. And uh, Dennis brought <coughs> Rafael back to St. Mary's for Christmas because Rafael did not go back to Mexico for Christmas. And Raphael at Assumption knew George as the strict disciplinarian. And he comes to St. Mary's, and we only knew George as the laughing uncle, fond uncle, card playing uncle. <laughs> just, he just, he was just had such a great time whenever he was visiting, you know, in our homes, you know. And Raphael was astounded. <laughs> Is this the same person I know from, yeah. from Windsor? You know? The most important thing for Christian reporters is to keep the, uh, keep the rule. You're primarily never to leave campus. Uh -huh. And never to leave campus at night, you know. And these reporters from Detroit uh, with <laughs> Sky out <laughs> once in a while in church. I, I, I don't know if somebody told on them or what, but he, he went investigating. And sure enough, these rooms were empty. And uh, he went, well, what was he going to do? So he lay down on the bed. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> they came back and found them on the bed? <laughs> yeah, and the guy who... <laughs> here's, the, here's the principal lying on the bed when he got there. And his friend was lying on another bed, where, uh, or uh, he was going to his room, and Father Guinan was in his bed. Was that his? Or yeah. or that lying the... on the bed. <clears throat> oh, boy. There wasn't much getting around that one. I don't know what happened to them, but... Well, they just, they were so tired, they just got up and left serious. after his... Recognize the bridge? Yeah, Tim? of course, yeah. And Vincent is one of those four, uh, four altar boys oh, wow. there. Who are their names again, Vincent, for the record? <clears throat> the Mayas are just not quite good enough. But one of them was Don Mahone. Yeah. Is myself. Jerry O'Brien, and the Jim Hope. Mm. And we three, three of us, but not Jim Hope, uh, got together oh, a couple of years ago. Really? And we had a picture taken. Right at that spot. Yeah, Go the, on. The, in, the the same order, yeah. in the same order with one person missing. I think Jim might have lost his life in the war. Are they both still in Windsor? But uh, they're all boarders, so they're all from, they're Detroit. Most of the boarders were from Detroit. Yes, that's right. They were. Yeah. But Jerry O'Brien was from uh, oh, to Maidstone. Ah. And he and I were good buddies, and uh, Don Mahone, good friend. But two. He's from Detroit. But you and one of them also served at my parents' uh, wedding in Jerry Assumption Chapel. And I served at your. Yeah. That's right, right? And, and Don Mahone, one we had, we planned a marble night in the dormitory, and we couldn't get much cooperation from the other, from the other students, and uh, somebody must have ratted on us. <laughs> <laughs> so Don Mahone and Brian and I. A certain signal we rolled marbles across the floor <laughs> and this voice came from the scholastic Thompson O'Brien Mahone on your knees <laughs> <laughs>